So here, what we typically do is get rid of our constant first, right? But if you'll notice here, I don't have a constant on the right-hand side. So then we would get rid of our coefficient. Okay, so our coefficient's here, but let's first determine what this means. It means negative 2 and 4 ninths divided by g. Now this is strange because we typically don't have a variable in our denominator. So we need to get it out of there. So the way to do that is, because it means divided by g, I'm going to do the inverse operation, which means opposite. I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by g. Now by doing this, you're going to notice that the g's are going to cross-reduce. We're going to go away. So this is going to leave me with 1 and 2 thirds g equals negative 2 and 4 ninths. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and notice it looks just like any other problem now. This means 1 and 2 thirds times g. So to get g by itself, I'm going to do the inverse operation. Since it's being multiplied, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by 1 and 2 thirds. By doing that, these are going to cross cancel, leaving me with just g equals. Now this is what I'm left with. Before I do some side work, I'm going to decide right now. A negative divided by a positive is a negative. So here, we're just going to go ahead and turn these into improper fractions. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4 is 22, so we have 22 ninths. Divided by 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, so divided by 5 thirds. Here, I'm going to now multiply by the reciprocal. So we're going to change it to multiplication. We're going to take the reciprocal of this fraction here. I'm going to check if I can cross cancel. I can't. Here I can. I can divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So multiply straight across. I'm going to get 22 over 15. Here I already put my sign as negative, so that's great. So we have negative 22 fifteenths. Now, before I claim that this is my answer, you know that's going to be a good idea to check your work. So I'm going to go ahead and check my work right here. First, I'm going to write the problem 1 and 2 thirds equals a negative 2 and 4 ninths divided by g, which I figured out to be negative 22 over 15. Now, you'll notice here there's no variables anymore because I figured out what g is. So we're not moving things around. We're not doing the inverse of anything. We're just simplifying what we currently have. So here, I need to simplify this to see if it truly equals 1 and 2 thirds. First, I recognize a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so I took care of the sign. 2 and 4 ninths is 22 ninths. We're going to divide that by 22 fifteenths. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as 22 ninths times the reciprocal. So that's going to be 15 over 22. These are going to cross cancel. Here, between 9 and 15, I can divide by 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 9 divided by 3 is 3, which is going to give me 5 thirds. So here, I have 5 thirds. That's what I got here. And then here, it's 1 and 2 thirds. Now, those are those exactly the same? Are they equivalent? The answer is yes. Why? Because 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. Five. So 5 thirds does equal 5 thirds. So I know for sure that my answer is correct.